Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, I'm Jessie J M U A. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a story time, get ready with me, chit chat. And if you guys want to see how I did this super simple, easy, running late, you know, on the go, don't want to do your makeup look, then keep watching. And um, clip my hair back. And I already somewhat did my eyebrows off camera. So they're like somewhat done, not fully. I'm just gonna go in and clean them up with, uh, let's see, my ColourPop E11 and some Alley Girl Pro Concealer and this is in shade Light Ivory. I kind of go back and forth. I use this one. I use, what else do I use? I use something else. So I kind of just put a little bit on my brush. Kind of just carve it out a little bit and then just bring it down. I kind of use this like as an eyeshadow primer sometimes too. Basically I'll use this as an eyeshadow primer if I'm feeling lazy pretty much and uh, or running late so basically if you can see the difference and these are really um, affordable as well I think I got these in Ulta usually they have them on sale for like two or three bucks and like they last forever they have like a wide variety of shades as well So, basically, I went on Instagram and did a poll. You know, I always take to Instagram to do some polls. So, I asked if they wanted, um, you all wanted to see a story time that was gross or a story time that was more like laid back. And I think the laid back one won. And basically this is gonna be like a funny like story time but this was like from way back in the day and I don't know if everybody like understood what I meant by like a gross story time because I think it, I'll save it for the next time though for sure let me know in the comments below if you guys want to hear one of those ones I mean I got a lot of stories but um I don't know why this shit always happens to me and I kind of just want to do it anyways even though you guys didn't want to hear that one because this shit always happens to me but I'm gonna do what one and um, just go ahead with my story time but anyways so this was like years and years and years ago okay so me and my friends were out, um, you know, going to different house parties. And this is when I used to live um, in New Mexico. I used to live in Albuquerque, like, so many years ago. I've been in Illinois now for over 10 years. I want to say, like, 12, 13 years. But anyways, um, we were, like, at different house parties. And I, I want to say we were already pretty tipsy <laughs> and we ended up at I don't even remember whose house it was I don't remember if it was one of my friends one of my friends friends it was somebody's house party though and I'm pretty sure it was pretty early in the evening and basically I'm per I don't know what happened if somebody was fighting or what the hell was going on but we were just having fun having a good time drinking me and one of my friends um or with a couple of our other friends and then my friend's little sister which was my friend as well um she was with us and obviously she was underage but i'm not gonna say any names because <laughs> i don't, don't want to start arguments with anybody but yeah so she was with us and um we were all drinking and whatnot and I don't even remember if she was drinking I don't I don't I honestly don't remember but 
I know at this point, like something went down, something happened. I'm not too sure what happened. I, I had, I want to say that somebody started fighting. Somebody had to have started fighting. You know how that shit goes when people are at like a house party and, and you know, some people just don't know how to act and some people just get too drunk and they don't, you know, know how to act or they, you know, just start fighting with somebody for no reason. So basically, either that happened because that used to happen a lot <laughs> or um, it was too loud and the neighbors called the cops and it was one of those two, I'm sure. So anyways, the cops ended up coming. Somebody said, I think we were just so drunk at this point. I'm pretty sure we were just so drunk at this point. Somebody said, yeah, oh my God, the cops are here or something. And we all started running like dumbasses because I think we were drunk. So I was already of age, I think. I'm pretty sure, I, maybe not. Maybe, no, I think I was like, 18 at the time I don't know I'm pretty sure I was underage too I don't know or maybe I was of age but anyways we were already drunk somebody said cops we were like saw everybody running so we all started running like dumbasses even though our car was like outside and we ran through the back door like stupid asses and where this house was there was like a baseball field so we ran out through the back. I don't even remember what door, window, sliding door. I, I, I couldn't tell you. Like, I honestly really couldn't tell you. I just know we ran through the back or maybe even through the front or the side or I don't know. But we ran like dumbasses. So we jump over whoever's house that was fence. And they have like a fence, but it's like barbed wire I think on that fence somewhere I don't know what the hell but I remember I had some like you know like wedges and some shorts on and like a tube top and we were all jumping fences because it was like summertime I want to say um so we're jumping over these barbed wire fences like I'll, I just feel like like something spilled on me or whatever like liquid or something I don't know and we keep running we run and we go to the baseball field which I don't even know why we did that either and we could have just like went around I <laughs> we get to the baseball field there's this huge fence you know those fences to where um, when you play baseball basically so the the ball won't go out like of the park so it, the it kind of the fence goes like over like in a I know there's a word for it let me know if you don't know but basically it's like fenced up and then fenced over so we climb to the top and go on top of it so basically it's like here's the fence and then here's like okay here's like the fence and then here's like the other top of it it goes like slanted in kind of like this sorry I'm not an architect but yeah it, it goes in like this so we're like up here and basically when I'm trying to get down my shorts get stuck and <laughs> I don't know how the how they got stuck but there was like the little crosses from the fence and it got stuck on that and I'm like shit I can't rip it off because it's like on the seam of the I had jean shorts and I can't rip it off it's not coming off I can't get unstuck and I'm like I can't get down I'm bleeding everywhere because of the barbed wire I just have blood all over my feet my legs I think my arms I don't even know what the hell like I got caught nothing so I'm like okay whatever at this point I'm like fuck you know my friend is like what the fuck get down like come on cuz like I don't remember if she like climbed down or jumped down that was a high fucking fall though for sure cuz I don't know if she even like hurt herself I, I don't remember but <laughs> she's like hurry up 
I'm like, okay, she's like, we gotta find my sister because I think we all split up like dumbasses too. Like, I don't know, we were young, we were dumb, we were stupid, we were always doing stupid shit, like always. So basically, <laughs> I'm stuck up there like a dumbass. I'm like, I can't get fucking down. I was like, I'm stuck. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm drunk, I'm stupid. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to like rip my shorts. I even like ripped them too, like to like get out of it. And I don't know what the hell or how it was stuck that I couldn't get out of it, but that shit wasn't working either. So basically what I ended up doing was unzipping my shorts, slipping out of them, and then kind of like going over. I don't even remember if I took off my shoes at this point. I don't even know. There were like white wedges too because they I remember all the blood the next day on them. But I end up taking off my shorts. <laughs> and I don't even know how I ended up getting them off or getting them down. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I dropped down after I got them off too. Like after I slipped out of them, I was and I ended up I was able to get them off the fence drop down put that shit back on i think put my shoes back on or whatnot and we kept like running like dumb asses i don't know where the fuck we were running to i don't know where the hell we thought we were running to but <laughs> we were running and i did end up putting my shorts back on obviously yeah i'm pretty sure yeah i did and I don't even remember where the hell we met up with my friend or whatnot because she ended up getting back to the car and she came for us and like the whole time I don't I think we went to like I think we like went to like a Dunkin Donuts or a gas station also somewhere I don't know if you're from Albuquerque New Mexico or in that area you know what all subs is so we ended up like going to all subs getting some fucking burritos <laughs> the famous chimichanga burritos and the fucking burritos the regular burritos cleaning up in the bathroom i think and then going to go drink some more and we were like fucking bloody everywhere too like all the blood I, we i think we even still had like dry blood and shit. i'm pretty sure i cut myself the worst but my friends cut themselves too with the barbed wire I don't even know why we did that still. Obviously, we were drunk and just stupid. Um, <laughs> but we still went to go drink that, like, afterwards at somewhere else or maybe at one of my friend's houses. I, maybe we went back to her house. But basically, she came to pick us up. I don't know how the hell we even got this is not working why isn't this working i'm trying to use this um gemini palette from mount cosmetics but i think i need to use some fix plus for this but yeah anyways um we ended up like still going to go drink we were a fucking mess the next day like i think i was still in like my ripped up shorts i think i slept at my friend's house I don't know we used to do some fucked up shit in the back in the day though like <laughs> we were always like and we wouldn't really get into trouble though that's a good thing knock on wood um we wouldn't get into trouble but we would always just have like some funny stories like it was it was funny shit so that was one of the times basically that I got stuck in a fence. I ended up without my shorts because I had to get the fuck out off of the fence. But we were bloody everywhere. Oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot to mention we that my friend was on bad. the ground already yep. the whole time one holding her friends, leg, um, laughing were, her ass off at me. I finished recording one of their songs or something like that. So they were having like an after party at like a hotel or something. And um, we went there and we, that, that's where we cleaned off at. I don't even think we cleaned off at all subs. And they were like, what the fuck happened to you guys? Where the fuck did you guys go? We told you guys to just like come here from the get go. And like, we're like, okay, why would we go to one place when we go like, how, you know, party hopping all night, you know what I mean? So we just had that kind of stupid mentality. 
so basically um yeah we went there and that's where we ended up like and then we ended up going to like denny's or some shit or no taco cabana i think i don't know that's where we went ended up at like after after but that was a crazy freaking night i don't i still don't remember why the hell we were running probably because we were underage i want to say that's probably the reason why but that's the time that i got stuck in on a fence and i had to like take off my damn shorts to get unstuck and yeah that's pretty much my <laughs> laid back story time but basically all our story times were kind of all, all my story times were kind of like shit we used to do like back in the day like just fucked up shit and not fucked up shit we just used to like get ourselves in like stupid shit but not to the point where like we'd get in trouble like with the law and stuff like that we would just like be drunk and stupid and like run I, I think we used to run a lot <laughs> for stupid reasons like I remember another time I think it was New Year's I don't even remember why the hell we were running this time but we were at one of our friends houses and his house was like behind had a brick wall I don't even know how we I think we were pros at jumping fences we had to have been <laughs> because we were um having a new year's party and i think the cops ended up coming to bust it down or shut it down whatever the hell and i think a lot of our friends were shooting the guns and shit so basically we um took off running too we jumped like the brick wall that he had in his backyard and started running and there was like a ditch and I don't know why the hell we were running, but there was a bunch of us, like, stupid asses running. I don't even know why. And my friend, again, she, like, came and picked us up in her truck. And there was, like, a bunch of us, like, a bunch of us running. There was a shitload of us. Uh, we don't even know why the hell we were running. Like, a lot of the time, she'd probably ask us that. Like, why do you guys take off running like stupid asses, you know? Like, <laughs> but that's what we used to do. So, I remember, like... I think we ended up like going back to drink at my friend's house or something. I don't know. But the next morning when we were going to go to breakfast, um, I don't remember if one of our friends wanted to buy a bottle already. I'm like, oh my God, like, are you serious? We're trying to go to breakfast. Or she was counting her change or something. Like, I don't know. All of a sudden she busts out like this crusty ass crown royal bag <laughs> and she had like a bunch of fucking change in it so our friend used to call her pocket change or some shit because everywhere we used to go she used to bust out with like a crusty ass crown royal bag would change i guess so they used to call her like pocket change and somebody else was like squatch 2 i don't remember he used to give us like a bunch of fucking names but basically yeah she fucking had a crusty ass crown royal bag with a bunch of fucking change we're like where the fuck are you going with that like what are you doing with that fucking change i don't know what the hell she was doing but she had a bunch of fucking change in a crusty ass crown royal bag um so she got the fucking nickname pocket change because that bitch always had pocket change basically um yeah but we used to do some funny shit i mean it's funny that like the things you used to do back in the day and obviously it's not safe to do a lot of that shit now it, it you gotta seriously worry about who you hang out with your surroundings um because nowadays you'll get like pretty much hurt like a lot of people will slip you a fucking drug to rape you you know like i don't want this story time to go you know bad or dull but um you gotta be careful like i i the shit i used to do back in the days i wouldn't do now i wouldn't want my kids doing now you know what i mean i would never 
and thank god none of them are like me or like how I was back in the day because I was a freaking party animal back in the day like my husband even used to say like oh my god like who used to let your like parents used to let you go out and shit I'm like mm, not all the time I used to kind of like sneak out or just leave you know I wasn't like a angel but yeah um honestly thank god nothing has ever happened to me because um you just can't trust people nowadays to be honest you really can't like even like friends and stuff like that you just can't trust anybody but anyways Usually this would have been done like a lot faster, but since I was doing a little story time with you guys It's taking a bit longer and This is kind of like my little go-to when I Don't want to get ready. I'll use any kind of like nude or neutrals and stuff like that um, when I don't want to get ready basically, I'll just cut it down to like pretty much like two colors like or just like the shimmer and then the um like a matte color and i don't really do i do bron no i don't really do bronzer a lot of the times when i like in a hurry but just i guess for the sake of the video we'll just do some bronzer now and this is the Marc Jacob Tantastic Bronzer. You know, somebody like messaged me the other day, like, when are you gonna go through all that shit you have behind you? Yeah, this shit right here. Uh, Cause I think I mentioned it before in a video if you guys wanted to see me like declutter a lot of my makeup and shit. And I was like, you know what? I forgot all about that. I kind of just ignore it now. Like, that's a lot of like stuff I used to like go through I mean I used to use like I'll still put like a lot of my others like a lot of stuff that I use under there but honestly not too much I don't really go to a lot of that anymore so if you guys want to see that on another video let me know in the comments below because honestly I really have to do it and basically, if I do it, I'm not going to record it um, if I just, like, start doing it. So if you, like, want to see that and remind me, I'll definitely do it so you guys can see it to see all the crap that I have in there. But other than that, like, I probably would just leave it. Because we're going to be moving soon. Well, not really soon. Like, hopefully by next year into a bigger house. Um... So we've been kind of like looking now because we we live in a, a townhouse now so it's big but not really big enough you know I want to eventually just have like my own beauty room not just like in my room and my husband wants to like showcase all his stupid Funko Pops somebody wanted a video of that too um, I got several messages like asking when I was gonna do that and show all his because he collects Funko Pops that are like rare and like exclusive I don't really collect them if I see some of them that I might want um, I might get them there's just one I'm waiting for like oh, I really 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 liked it and I think it's an exclusive so I'll probably put that one in a video too but this one back here is the Thanos um, and it's like this fucking big and then he got this like Jay Cutler one which is I don't like the Bears sorry sorry to all you Bears fans out there I don't I like the San Francisco 49ers although they're not that great either but since um, Jay Cutler is no longer with the Bears um I think that's why he got it or he got it because you could remove the helmet or some shit I don't know that's kind of stupid I don't, I don't really pay attention to a lot of that but he has a fucking shitload and I talk so much shit to him all the time like dude why do you have 
so many fucking Funko Pops. Like, what do you do with them? Honestly, to me, I don't see the point of Funko Pops. I'm sorry if I offend the Funko Pop community. <laughs> like, in the words of Rich Lux, you know, shout out to Rich Lux. Um, when you offend the, what does he say, the Beanie Baby community? Like, oh my god, that shit's hilarious. But, like, I don't really want to offend the Funko Pop community. <laughs> But yeah, um, I don't see the point. Of, I mean, a lot of them you can sell. Like, a lot of the ones he has you can sell. But he's not selling them. So I'm like, what's the point of this? I honestly don't understand. You know what? I forgot to... No, I didn't forget. I don't put foundation on. That's what I do. Honestly, I don't really like to use foundation a lot of the times especially in the summer because it's super fucking hot and it's just gonna sweat off anyways like I, but I do recommend if you don't want to do any kind of like foundation I would definitely pick up the um, Ula Henriksen's Banana Bright Base Primer which is the one I was using which is this this shit is amazing I had to order another one of those when um, there was a sale at Sephora. But yeah, like I was saying with the Funko Pops, um, if you're going to sell them, then cool. If you're not, I don't know what you're doing with them. I guess just collecting them. Because that's pretty much what my husband does. He just collects them. And he is occupying so much of my closet space. It's starting to piss me off. So I'm like, dude. Ugh. When we get our new house. You're going to have your own fucking area. For all these stupid ass Funko Pops. And just leave them there. Per use. Um... And do nothing else with them basically I just don't want to see them I mean I'm gonna see them but I don't want them in my space basically I kind of just like use this little fan to dry my setting spray but I don't like let it dry right away like or all of it because I like to go back in with this Aussie sponge and just kind of like melt it all back in together and then I'll go back in with like my highlight brush whatever's on it and then go back in here basically I'm just getting ready to get unready Cause it's like I want to say it's 11 maybe gonna be 12 but I'm also stayed up because I'm going to get some more stuff from um, the Jeffree Star website because he's having a memorial sale and there's some stuff that I want to pick up let me know if you guys are gonna get anything from there I'm probably gonna get um, I don't know stuff I don't have already this is the Jeffree Star this shit is delicious like you could seriously like sit there eating the shit don't eat it I, I wouldn't just eat it like that I mean you could but I wouldn't um this one is the I use this one all the time I kind of just keep it in there I have a whole bunch of them I need to pick up some more of these though I might order another one of these as a backup because this one's like m one of my favorites it's the um candy necklace and it smells like a freaking candy necklace honestly I think it tastes better than a candy necklace and then like after I do that to get like all your dead skin I like to go in with this and this is the Catrice um, lip oil and it's with sweet almond oil 
and I got the set Alta and this stuff is pretty amazing I kind of just like let that set in as well and then I like to use this as well it's the lip sleeping mask the lanage lanage I don't even know how to pronounce that shit but it's this one right here and you could use this like as a sleeping mask or you could use it <clears throat> um, just like as a lip balm but they also have lip balms now and these are amazing I would definitely pick these up as well I probably mentioned them in one of my other videos which I really love them so that's why I mentioned them I feel like I'm gonna pinch my freaking eye if I don't like use another I got this from Morphe and it's fucking weird like so basically it has like this little string and you kind of like hook it on here so I can say like that I really don't know the point of that but maybe it's so it won't break I'm not too sure but I don't really like this um, eyelash curler because it hurts. But then again, I don't really like curl my eyelashes because I don't have like much of them anyways. Like my eyelashes are really short. So it fucking hurts. So I don't know if it hurts any of you guys. Let me know if like your eyelash, if you have even like a recommendation of eyelash curlers. because when I do get them basically I always get the wrong ones and they end up hurting me so for mascara I'm gonna be using the hourglass um, I'm not too sure what the oh uh, extreme lash mascara I think it's called and I don't remember where I got this little one. I think they sent it to me with one of my orders. But you know, I've been loving the L'Oreal Unlimited, I think, lash mascara. And I don't know what happened to it. I like lost it. And I had another one. I bought a backup one and I don't know what happened to that one either. There's a, like a lot of stuff that's been missing in my house lately and not in my house just in my room I don't know if I'm like misplacing it because I did try to go through like a lot of other things the other day and like organize and I told my husband I think I accidentally threw like a lot of boxes away that had stuff in it and I really like this mascara though um, real quick you could tell the difference if you could see like I like it it's kind of like the other the L'Oreal one but this one's a lot more pricier but yeah I'm thinking like did I throw my shit away like what the hell because I don't know what the hell happened to it like I'm missing a lot of shit so my daughter swears that we have like those little borrowers in here but I'm like okay I just think that I accidentally threw it away which sucks because that's like a lot of shit that I probably threw away because I was trying to go through some stuff and I knew there was some other stuff that I wanted to put in a giveaway and I'm gonna be doing another like random Instagram giveaway so make sure you're following me on my Instagram it's Jessie J M U A. And I'll probably put the rules on there because I don't know what I'm going to do yet or what I'm going to be giving away. So make sure you turn on your post notifications for when I um, either post or um, put up a IG story. Because that's where I will be posting like the rules and whatnot. So yeah, anyways, this is like my 
new go-to mascara that I've been loving lately. And I also really like this fan. And another one of my favorite mascaras is this, uh, uh, I think it's Clinique. It doesn't even say, but I'm pretty sure it's Clinique and it's like the bottom lash mascara. It's like 12 bucks at Ulta. <clears throat> and if you're like me, and you your mascara transfers on your bottom of your eye, and you look like a raccoon, definitely pick this up because this shit does not budge like I'm pretty sure it's this and the combination of um, like my Jeffree Star setting powder because this shit is amazing and it doesn't budge I kind of do like all my makeup looks like backwards sometimes like you, some I know a lot of people probably like you do like the lip color last or and I wasn't even do this lip color but this is like one of my faves right now and um, it's the Huda Beauty interview and it's a matte lipstick and it looks matte but it's so moisturizing it feels like a chapstick to be honest and I've been really loving this color lately and this formula and they are coming out with new colors if you saw my video <clears throat> and I think they already released the colors I want to say yeah I think I put them like on my Instagram story too so yeah basically this is my go-to look when I'm in a hurry it kind of looks like you're still like a little full glam but not really because like I'm not doing any like lashes or anything like that or any eyeliner but I do like to use especially if I'm getting ready in the morning like for work or something I'll use this morphe uh, pencil in the shade toots and I like to put it right underneath my lash line, like right here, my waterline. Because if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell the difference, it makes you look like more awake because it's like um, really um, like a nude color. Like it's like a skin, more like a skin nude color. And it just makes it look. I don't know I think it makes it like pop more but yeah anyways this is the completed look I hope you guys like it my hair is like coming apart already from this clip and go check out like my IG stories because I posted um, how I uh, straighten my hair and what I've been straightening it with because I don't normally do that but yeah anyways I hope you guys like this video this is like kind of like the um, I'll list the items below if you guys want to know um, if I didn't like say everything that I used in today's video but mainly um, I kind of when I'm going through like the video and stuff like that or like I don't or if I'm just doing like a chit chat or whatever I don't go through all the products but yeah, let me know if you guys want another story time or another like get ready with me chit chat. And also let me know if you want that story because I have a bunch of them. And I think everyone got it confused as to like what a gross story time because like, oh my gosh, like I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure this shit only always happens to me or maybe it's just because I pay attention more. I don't know. But anyways, let me know if you guys want to see that kind of video next or uh, go to my Instagram. Like I said, follow me, JessieJMUA. I always put polls up to see what you guys want to see next. And yeah, make sure you are subscribed. 
please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you you know comment and subscribe share this video and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching guys bye